Silence freaks, listen up. Many of you surely are familiar with the term Silent Loop by Be Quiet. Then in the meantime that cooler series has appeared to have disappeared from the surface of the earth. And now, since a few months, we are graced with a successor. In today's review, the Be Quiet Silent Loop 2, the 360mm version. We are being promised a lot by the manufacturer, especially in terms of cooling performance and noise levels. The thing is, Be Quiet no longer happens to be the only brand out there that is capable of impressing with low noise levels. There are quite a few good coolers out there by the competition that do just as well. So for the silence freaks among us, is this still an AIO liquid cooler worth to adore? Well, let's slow down a bit there. As far as pricing goes, today's Be Quiet unit slots into a rather normal price range, nothing spectacular actually, neither particularly cheap nor expensive. In fact, we're talking of about 130 to 160 US dollars currently for the 360mm variant. So when exaggerating and putting it this way, are we dealing with a gift to us silence fanatics? A few aspects for sure have a slightly different approach here, but let's slow down a bit first. As for what comes included, a nice bundle actually for once. Besides the radiator, or rather, AIO unit, we are getting three of Be Quiet's own Silent Wings 3 120mm fans, all the mounting hardware, a fan splitter cable, even a neat little ARGB controller, because yes, Be Quiet is now also jumping onto the RGB bandwagon. Then there happens to be a user manual, a 100ml bottle of coolant for a filling later on, and last but not least, a fairly, well, not full tube of thermal paste. Well, better than nothing, I guess. Now to answer the question many of you will want to ask right away. No, after buying this cooler, you don't need to fill in any coolant, it's pre-filled already. The included bottle of coolant is meant for a later date, according to the manual, after about two years of use. This way, good cooling performance can be guaranteed in the long term, as well as a longer lifespan. You can easily refill coolant with an easy to reach refill port. Just unscrew the screw on the side of the radiator and start refilling once necessary. Other than that, the aluminum radiator doesn't really stand out from the masses, especially not with that standard thickness of 27mm. Nonetheless, the build quality does seem good, even though there are neither metal fittings on the radiator nor on the pump unit. The Silent Wings 3 PWM fans managed to impress me right away, both in terms of quality and performance and also noise levels. According to the manufacturer, these fans feature a 6-pole motor along with an FDB bearing to battle vibrations. Needless to say, Be Quiet didn't skimp on rubber pads. A lot is said and advertised about the Silent Loop 2's pump. Be Quiet is showing off with their three-chamber design here, of which the second chamber out of the three offers enough room for the coolant to spread out. Thus turbulence is greatly being reduced before it leaves the pump unit. As a result, to completely copy Be Quiet's wording here, the combination of the six-pole three-phase motor in theory delivers smooth and quiet operation. On top of that, the pump also comes with a lot of dampening to further absorb vibrations. That's all theory, but what does the reality look like? Well, all those special features seem to be doing something, since the pump does in fact operate at shockingly low noise levels. The pump is being connected via a 3-pin cable, by the way. However, there also come one, two more cables out of the pump unit, those being standard 5-volt 3-pin ARGB connectors, one of which allows for daisy chaining. The only thing that lights up on the Silent Loop 2, though, is the pump unit. The Be Quiet logo constantly lights up in white, but of course can also be turned off. The other LEDs, on the other hand, are fully controllable. The aesthetics along with that brushed aluminum, in my humble opinion, looks really fancy. In general, this cooling unit makes a very minimalistic, sleek and elegant impression, definitely meets my taste. The tubes come in at a respectable length of 400mm and are nicely sleeved. Rather impressive, I find the fairly large cooling surface of the cold plate, which also happens to be nickel plated. Be Quiet also does not exclude support for those gigantic AMD Threadripper processors, even though an STRX4 mounting kit needs to be purchased separately, something I find very disappointing as a user of such a 
Threadripper CPU. Aside from that, of course, all the recent sockets by both AMD and Intel are being supported without having to purchase anything separately. The installation turned out to be super simple and effective. There's actually not a single bit I could complain about when it comes to the installation process, but let me be clear, the competition does it just as well by now. What can I say about the noise levels? With the right settings, your system, with the Silent Loop 2 taking care of cooling, you'll end up with a very quiet experience for sure, no doubt, especially thanks to the 360mm large cooling surface to work with. If you, however, on the other hand, allow the fans to spin up at their max 2200 RPM, don't be surprised when I tell you we are no longer talking of the lowest noise levels. I do like that, though, since we therefore have some reserves in a tank, should we need it someday if our CPU temperatures get out of hand. So the bottom line is, I can definitely agree with Be Quiet on their claim regarding very low noise levels. So all there's left to deal with is the second claim, the performance. As always, I'll be cooling my little, slightly hot AMD Ryzen 7 3800X for the test. These are my results. To make it short and sweet, the Silent Loop 2, the 360mm version, sure does impress. However, it doesn't really offer more cooling performance than comparable 360mm units of the competition. But it doesn't perform worse either. Let's put it this way, Be Quiet managed to fully keep up with the top-of-the-line AIO liquid coolers, despite being off the radar for quite some time now when it comes to AIOs. That's what I call a very nice comeback, especially since build quality and the low noise levels are very satisfactory. But at the end of the day, is this Be Quiet AIO cooler really better than solutions of the competition? No, not really. It's up there, it's a tie more or less, one could say, both when it comes to cooling performance as well as noise levels. We consumers now simply have more to choose from. We can now simply go with the unit we fancy most. It's often a personal decision, depending on the features, the looks, warranty, or maybe even pricing. Today's Silent Loop 2 unit does deserve a bonus point for me though, namely for including a refill port, so at a later date you can refill the unit yourselves. Furthermore, even a bottle of coolant is already included. I find that very nice indeed. That's not the case with the competition. It's a great way to prolong the usage of such an AIO up until the inevitable death of the pump. And yes, all pumps tend to die someday, no matter the brand, obviously. This specific AIO cooler has been sitting in its packaging for a long time at my place. It turned out to be a bit of a treasure for me. It would have gotten even more bonus points if it had that STRX4 mounting kit already included. Nonetheless, the Be Quiet Silent Loop 2 360mm AIO liquid cooler is definitely worth recommending. With that being said, thank you so much for watching everyone and until next time.